We film our funerals in my family. I don't know why we do this, but I think it's a way for us to remember those who are with us and those who died. It's not something I gave much thought to until this year. I guess I could say that I started being a filmmaker last year. But before we get into all of these tiny details about me, let's start at the beginning. I was born in August 1996. This was a year Panic Mechanic starring Leon Schuster, one of the biggest filmmakers in South Africa, whether you like it, which I don't, or not, was released. This film, like many films in the media, uses blackface as comedy. Representation of black people in film seems to have had a fixation of ridiculing us. I wasn't alive for most of these films, but it makes, it makes me wonder, what is, what is it dignified, dignified way to be remembered? To be remembered? See that little kid? That's me. I didn't have a clue that I wanted to be a filmmaker yet. And that's not even the most important part. What's important is that kids are... impressionable. Seeing someone who looks like you being represented as a spectacle has an effect. The first African woman to direct a film was Safi Faye. She directed La Passante in 1972. And do you know who the first black South African woman was? Morgan Three Pillay, who released her first feature film, 34 South, only in 2005. Posters of their films don't even exist on the internet. Filmmaking means a lot to me. My life revolves around it. Which makes me wonder if there is a connection between my family's funeral videos and what I am now. In those videos, remember them once they're gone. And that's not enough for me. There's a need for those who look like me to be seen. But there's also a need for myself, outside all the identities I occupy, to document all these memories, both non-fiction and fiction. I want to be remembered while I am still alive. Too many black people are remembered when they're dead. Who we are now and the work we create tends to just disappear.